This program is brought to you by Stanford Hospital and Clinics. So STI stands for sexually transmitted infection. The old term was STD, sexually transmitted disease. But since a lot of people who have the infection don't really feel they have any disease, STI is a little bit more accurate. The only way to know for sure is to get tested. Many of these infections, whether it's chlamydia, gonorrhea, HIV, even herpes, may be asymptomatic. In other words, there'd be no symptoms at all. You could be carrying the infection for years with health consequences down the road uh, and not know you have the infection. So the only way to be absolutely sure is to get tested. Some people do have symptoms. So for example, with chlamydia and gonorrhea, you may see uh, what's called a drip, a drainage from the penis or from the vagina that is abnormal, and that would be the sign that there's an infection there. Sometimes with syphilis, you have a sore or a rash on the skin, or sometimes a fever or lymph gland swelling. With HIV, you might have uh, diarrhea or weight loss, again, a, f a rash or lymph swelling or unexplained fevers. But in many of the cases, you have nothing, no symptoms at all. So again, the only way to know you have it is to get a test. Well, the good news is that for virtually every STI, we have effective antibiotics. For the bacterial infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea, it's a single tablet or a single shot, you're done. For syphilis, oftentimes it's also a single shot of penicillin and you're finished. With HIV, we of course now have very effective therapy, but it does require lifelong commitment to that treatment. But the point is that these are all treatable, if not curable, at least treatable infections. They are absolutely preventable. In fact, the best way to prevent the infection is to be tested to make sure you're not infected if you are to get treated to clear the infection, and then try to pr practice safe sex, which means for most people, use of a condom.